What's up everyone, Gus Costa here and I hope you're doing great today. I love making these tutorial videos and I have so much fun doing it. And my goal is to inspire you to keep on learning. And the fun part is trying to figure out all the ways that I can do that. So today I wanna to talk to you about three items that I like carrying around with me when, uh, when I have my iPhone. Uh, it doesn't matter what iPhone you have, uh, these items will work with any uh, iPhone that you might have. And what it will do is it will help you take better pictures. So let's get started. So the first item that I like carrying around with me is this uh, Manfrotto twist grip. And the way it works, you just fold it like this. You put your phone, you put your phone in just like that. And you press the back, you tighten it up. And right here on the top, you have like a cold shoe mount. If you want to mount a light to it, or if you want to uh, mount a microphone. So very, uh, very useful little thing. I gotta tell you, I use this all the time. And the second thing that I always like carrying around with me is a tripod, either a small tripod or a travel size tripod. This thing is pretty small. If you don't feel like taking your big camera with you and you just wanna take your phone and uh, you can carry like a little tripod like this. You can mount the twist grip right on it and get some great photos. And, uh, or if you don't, if you really wanna travel light, just take your tabletop tripod like a Minfrotto Pixie. The third item that I like carrying around with me is a pair of headphones. The ones, the wired ones that came with your phone. Uh, what I do is I plug this right into the phone you might already know this. I mean, I'm sure most people already know, but if you don't, what the pair of headphone does is um, release the shutter. So if you press the plus or minus uh, button right here, this will release the shutter and take a photo for you without you having to touch your phone and uh, shake the camera. So you can get some nice crisp pictures with, the, um, with your wired headphones. So those are the three items that I carry around with me all the time when I wanna take pictures with my iPhone or take videos because you can also start your videos using this. This is also a microphone if you wanna make videos. Try to, uh, next time you're about to leave the house, make sure you take uh, this little setup with you and take some amazing pictures. I mean, this will fit in your pocket. And uh, this, like you saw the twist grip, this thing folds down and it's flat. You can just throw it in your pocket and it's amazing. And it will help you take some uh, great photos. So now I wanna give you two bonus tips. And uh, one of them is, I don't know if you guys already know this, but when you have, um, when you have your iPhone uh, camera up and you point to, for example, for example, right here, right? I'm pressing down, if you hold down on the screen, you can lock your auto exposure lock. So this thing is like right on my face right now and it's locked up. It's not gonna change the, the exposure or anything like that. And there's this little uh, sun here that controls the exposure. And if you go up or down, as you can see, this uh, will darken your picture or it will brighten your picture. So you're better off um, darker rather than too light or blown out because if you blow out, if you blow out your pictures, you're, they're gonna look like crap. So, and there's no way to fix that. So it's it's uh, you can control it, maybe expose it a little bit darker. You can always fix it in post and lighten it up. So use that and you lock it up. And when you take a picture, it's still gonna stay like that. In order to get out of it again, you just have to press it on the side and now it's just auto exposing according to the light. So just remember when you go out there, point it, if you're trying to take some landscape photos, just point it to the brightest part of the, uh, of the sky or whatever it is that you're trying to take a picture of, lock that auto exposure and bring it down a little bit where it's not blown out. So that's bonus tip number one. So tip number two is um, for processing your photos after you've taken them. And the app that I use is called Snapseed. It's a free app and it, it's, it does a pretty good job. So when you go into Snapseed, uh, you have options to open from device, you have an option to take photos, and it also shows you the most recent photos. So I'm gonna pick this one right here uh, that I took. 
and uh, as you can see here I brought the exposure down a little bit in this picture so it does need a little bit of fixing going on so you can just go into they have presets right here looks that you can pick from um, I usually don't do that I go into tools tune image and as you can see here there's an, a histogram at the bottom left of the screen and uh, that tells you you know the shadows if your shadows are too high or your um, your highlights are blown up it will be showing on the right side of the screen right here and um, so what I like to start with is the shadows and what I do is bring up my shadows just a little bit and then I go into my highlights and this the highlights here need to be brought up a little bit as well uh, and this is all preference not everybody likes uh, to everybody edits their pictures different ways and uh, so just keep that in mind that it's very subjective whatever you want to do whatever you think looks good to you just go for it it does not matter just do whatever it is that you want to do and uh, so bring up your saturation a little bit that's how I like I like my stuff oversaturated some people hate it but I love it I just in my eyes it looks good uh, bring the contrast up a little bit not too much because there's a lot of contrast on this photo already also bring up the brightness a little bit and why not let's put some ambience right there and I know it's uh, a snowy photo whatever but uh, I like my pictures a little bit warm so I'm gonna bring it up a little bit right there and if you go to the top right of the screen here you're gonna see a little box with uh, one side is solid and one is all dots and if you press and hold down you can see what you've done to your picture so far and it shows like the histogram at the bottom also shows like all the changes you've made so um, by holding it down you can see what you your picture looked like before you made all the changes and what it looks like now so for me it's just a little subtle changes right here I like the looks of this picture and then I'm gonna go back in tools I'm gonna add some structure a little bit some sharpening and then under tools also if you want to get crazy you can go through the curves here and you can change the reds the greens the blues uh, however you would like um, just for the heck of it let's make some changes in here with the, let's bring the highlights make the highlights a little bit red there we go um, just for just to change it up a little bit I'm not gonna do anything else with the blues and the greens so let's say I like this picture I just go to uh, and there are so many other features here that you can do you can crop you can uh, change the perspective if your picture is a little crooked you can change that up over here you can change the white balance uh, you can fix your portraits there's so much that you can do with this app and like I said it's a free app it's just uh, just go around and play with it and see what you can do uh, so I'm happy with this picture right now I'm gonna hit export save copy and this will save it to my phone I always do save a copy uh, and I keep the original and that's uh, that's pretty much what I do here so those are the three things I always carry around with me and the two bonus tips for today uh, I hope that this video was helpful I hope you got something out of it and uh, let me know if you liked the video hit that like button subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next video